So guys, welcome to a new year. So that means season two of Miata in Action. So guys, so welcome to this new episode of Miata in Action, the first one of season two. And today we are going to talk about Mia and what has been done to her up to this point and yeah just tell you every accessory and everything that we have changed at the, on the car so far so Mia is my 2016 4th generation ND MX-5 this is the 2 liter sport edition uh, which actually means this is the top trim we could get in Belgium when the car was launched and yeah I'm really happy with the car so the car has the two liter four cylinder engine with the six speed manual which you can find on any Mazda website now this color right here is the white pearl color it's not the ceramic as some of you guys think or the arctic white but it is the pearl now why did it go with the pearl it had some flake in it and I thought the, ceram the ceramic gray was a bit too gray for my for my taste then also if we look closer at the car you will see that over here at the front we have the Mazda Speed front lip then also we have the Mazda Speed or maybe you can see it better on this side let's check this side we also have the Mazda Speed side skirts in gloss black and we have then the trunk spoiler and the rear diffuser all these are official accessories for the Mazda MX-5 and I really think they contrast pretty well with the white paintwork. Now what else I did, I had done by my dealer was replace the MX-5 and the Mazda emblems front and back with gloss black ones to match this kit. So well, how they actually did this was they got new emblems which are chrome and got them painted by a body shop. So I'm really happy with the black and white team I got going on and you will see yeah it's a total package on the exterior now then one of the small things that i did first was the first thing i wanted to do was the original calipers are like this ugliest gray color so the first thing i did was paint them black i got videos on this as well all videos will be linked in this top right hand corner so if you want to check out more you can check them out right there also what we did was we wrapped this little splash guard that Mazda has to put in there for regulations and such in gloss black just so it all would tie in nicely with the rest of the car now then also some of you might have seen this well if you haven't seen it it, it would be strange but we also changed the wheel setup on this car and the car is lowered now being the sport trim in Belgium this car came with optional Bilstein suspension like uh, the clip gets in America but without the Brembo brakes but this suspension has been changed out already now why did I change it out I have a full video explaining this but the short term is the car had a lot of body roll and I wanted to change the height of the car that's it in a nutshell so this car is now riding on a, VW, on a KW V3 suspension now that means that we have coilover suspension so we can change the height and also we can change the inbound and rebound dampening on the car now I haven't messed with the default settings on the dampening yet just with the height just because I wanted to get this like where I wanted it before starting to mess with any other settings then also the wheel choice so this these wheels are like a T37 style wheel these are Rota grids so before anyone starts typing in the comments oh it's fake wheels sorry guys I'm not a rich guy I but I was really happy that I could even buy this car new two years ago so I'm really happy with the style of wheels and they will be changed eventually just because yeah evolving the car but these are Roda grids they are 17 inches by 8 inches wide and are riding on 235 for the R17 tires now the R17 of course stands for the 17 inch uh, wheels but these are the only tires that I could actually find for these Si for this size of wheel that is still a road tire so these are Hankook Ventus Evo V12 uh, version 2 uh, tires I have had really good experience with them they have good grip and yeah I'm actually pretty pleased with these tires so that's actually pretty nice now if any of you guys want to go with a more like default tire like a uh, Pilot Supersport or something 
something else like uh, Eagle F1 or something then these tires are not uh, this size is not the one you should run you can go for maybe a 205 and stretch them a bit but I don't like that look and if you want to if you want to go for real driving performance like I do you should maybe update to a 17 to an 18 inch wheel I'm sorry I missed there to an 18 inch wheel because then the tire sizes are a bit more uh, a bit more common so you will find the tires easy more easily but yeah at the moment I'm really happy with the setup and actually I have like really good cornering abilities right now so the KW suspension with the wider wheels has really given me nice handling at the moment now of course we should not forget we also updated the front fascia of the car with a Sun Sport grill so this grill is the half model you also have a full grill I have two install videos if any of you are interested about that but these actually in a nutshell help you protect your car help protect your radiator actually for stones because the standard grill is so open and the radiator is so accessible for something to damage it so this Sun Sport grill looks good easy is easy to maintain and it protects your car what more can you want now I think that will be about it for the exterior of the car so we have the aero kit oh no I forgot one more thing of course you can also find a video on this one so my car has been fitted with the full Mazda Speed Bustuk exhaust from the factory so this means that you get a new center pipe and a rear muffler uh, it gives the car a bit more of a like more of a rough tone it's not super loud so you can't you will not get into any trouble with your neighbors but it's a really pleasant sounding exhaust now if somebody wants to go really loud this might not be the one for you but if you want to like a real sporty sound yeah check this exhaust out also if you want to have more sound clips of this exhaust go check out the video now then we've talked a lot about the exterior of the car so it's time to go and see what the interior is like now when I open the door you'll see the first mod and I'll go a bit lower so we can look at it up close and it's this little guy right here so these are the Craven Speed door bushing so this is a Dalrin door bushing uh, to make your car have a much more solid feel and to keep your door from wiggling when you go over bumps and such so this is actually a pretty cheap and a pretty easy mod to do uh, go check out the video if you want to know more but pretty happy about this so like I told you guys my car is the sport trim in Belgium now the sport trim means that this car got built in suspension but this was actually not the most important part about this car and this is the thing that makes it actually special for me and as this car it came with the one and only legendary Recaro seats like MX-5 owners will know what I'm talking about when I say legendary because not a lot of countries for one sold the car with these seats and for another kept selling them with these seats now in the UK you could get a Recaro edition there were 250 uh, models made now 250 cars with these seats in Belgium you could get this as a sport package but then they were discontinued uh, with the sport package because yeah the high demand and Ricardo couldn't follow or, or yeah that's what I heard but now in Belgium you get the 160 edition which you saw in my previous video which actually does get the Ricardos again but those are 160 cars and I heard in the US you do not get these at all and in other countries you yeah it's a bit random you can or can't get them. but yeah I'm really happy with this now another now this being the sport this was also a full option car so we have full infotainment system both sound system uh, yeah the only thing I didn't go for were like the Alcantara on the doors and on the dashboard just because I like the look of leather seats are leather door cars are leather and also it's a bit more easy to clean than the Alcantara so guys, so under the hood we find the 160 horsepower 2 liter 4 cylinder beast of an engine that is the top range on the MX-5. Now I have to say this engine is magnificent and if any of you are wondering, no I haven't done any engine mods yet uh, to this car. Now I think I'm going to make a separate video about engine modification because over here in Belgium that is actually illegal to do. Now if you guys want to know more leave it in the comments below but yeah it's just it comes down to this if you want to like upgrade your engine like do a chip tune or put on a turbo kit it needs to be like approved by the manufacturer so I actually would have say to Mazda like hey Mazda uh, do you approve this turbo kit 
made by BBR or someone else. And then Mazda would have to give me like a written certificate of, yes, we approved this and then the Belgium the Belgian MOT or the Belgian, Belgian checkout service, checkup service, will actually not give me a very hard time about this. Also, if you're then thinking about the exhaust, the exhaust is manufactured approved, I have all the certificates for it, even the aluminium sports pedals on the interior, which I didn't think I showed you, but I have the aluminium optional pedals, those also come with like a full certification to be okay in Belgium, so that's actually bonkers. But what I did do to this car, as you can see, is a really nice new strut brace. Now this poor model came with a three-piece strut brace from the factory, but I changed it up to a single-piece one and it's a, a lot more rigid. And also, if you can see here, maybe I'll show it to you on the other side, but if you look right there, you can see the top of the suspension where we can adjust it with a little key we get from KW. But this, yeah is actually a stock engine and stock engine bay. Now will I do anything to the car? Now maybe I'll change the air filter to like a sports air filter like a, a pod or something like that. But because of the hard time that Belgian lawmakers give you for tuning your car and insurance problems and everything if something were to happen for me it's not actually worth it to update the car to to mess with the engine and such if i want something uh, maybe yeah trade it up for something with more horsepower or, some, or something like that but i'm not done with this car yet i bought this car with one like motto in my head one like phrase and it's handling over horsepower i want to make this car handle like nothing else i want to be able to push this car into a corner and not being scared of it starting to move or slide out from under me or whatever I, I think I'm on a pretty good way with that but so yeah there are still some things that I can do to this car and I really want to do but yeah so if you guys are wondering engine mods not directly more handling mods will come to this car and if have you new got any of you guys have anything that you would like to see me mount to this car let me know in the comments below and I'll check what I can do or if it's even on the planning or yeah Maybe some of you guys know more about suspension than me. Just let me know. So, but yeah guys, I think I have talked enough about this car for one episode and I'm gonna leave you with something that I did last year as my first video and it was a montage with every detail and just, yeah, I'm gonna let you enjoy the details of this car. And if you have any questions of anything that I talked about in this video, leave it in the comments below. I read every comment and I would love to help you guys on with questions about this car. Maybe you, you maybe you want one for yourself and for yourself and you're thinking have about is it worth it? Does it have enough space? Whatever. Just leave it in the comments. I'll answer every question you guys have. That's where I'm gonna leave it for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this update video about the car and I'm gonna leave you with a bit of a montage so cue the music and I'll see you next time So